Hello, today we're going to do another um, episode in the series of underrated throwers that I just decided to start uh, in terms of technical analysis. We're, right now we're going to do Alexander Tamrit. He, at his peak with a 70 meter hammer, I mean, no, I'm sorry, discus thrower. Uh, this is him at Athens. Unfortunately, I actually think he got last place here. Not his finest day was a little technically off as you'll see in this video um but uh this is the cleanest video i could actually get of him oddly enough um but um yep yeah, let's watch it a few times really smooth really nice acceleration All right, let's get down to it. First, I want to point out one thing that's very odd that a lot of throwers do not do is that he keeps this arm long, his right arm, but then he he just bends his left arm like all the, like down and stuff. It's like super suit. It's almost too loose. And then he also kind of like inverts it a little. So his his um the top of his hand is facing towards the sector, and he kind of keeps that. And then what he also does with this, with his left arm, is he really throws it in, while keeping his right side back. Now one thing. Um, that I don't like that he kind of, that he does. Mm, um, that I think screws up his finish. As we'll get to. Is he's kind of like diving. With his left hip into the middle. Like he's not fully stacked. He's kind of like just falling backwards a little bit. Um. And this will cause some problems in the front. I will also say, uh, just like Zoltan Cavago, he also, that which is um, another thrower I did in this actual same competition, um, he also starts over here on the, on the right sector. Instead of lining up here, and kind of, I guess, subscribes to the same way that John Powell's throws. Very, very narrow sweep leg. Tries to get through the ring as fast as possible and just hit the finish. Doesn't really think wide. Just very, very fast, very fast to the ground. Um, and I, what I really do like actually is the separation he gets. I, his his left. This is honestly kind of reminiscent of Daniel Stahl out of the back. Understandably, they they were coached by the same coach, Vastina Tyson. But I just love the way he keeps his right on the ground this long. This is a very hard position to hit, in terms of. You you need a lot of groin strength and mobility to be able to pull off this kind of separation. But what I don't like is that he keeps his left foot face that face that way instead of turning it all the way. Part of the reason why is because he really can't is be, because he's kind of falling a little backwards instead of staying stacked over his left side and having his his arm his armpit hip knee and um foot all in line so he's really balanced he gets a really nice stable level position to sprint out of the back um let's continue to the middle i really like the hip curl he gets it's very easy to get a really nice hip curl in this really nice back position when you do like a very narrow sweep leg like this, because it has a le less 
time in the air to travel so you can get you can get it down a lot quicker and, uh, and get a lot more turned in the middle but it can also le lend to imbalance um, out of the back and can lead to falling which is part of the reason why he also starts on this sector so it prov it kind of saves him from doing that Be like what if if he started lined up like in the middle of the sector and did this kind of th and did like the same throw he would be falling this way and would probably just throw it into the net instead he lands in the middle well kind of cut off He's like a little to middle. Like he could have landed like a little more to the middle. But again, I mean, he didn't rotate fully over his left. Another thing I want to point out is he kind of does the same thing as like a left or like a, a Lars Riedel did. And really like bends this arm down into the middle, which pulls him. This is actually very, this looks almost exactly like. Actually, a lot like Harding's uh, right here. Robert Harding, I should say, not Christoph Harding. But Robert Harding in the middle. This is around the same position he gets in the 2009 World Champs that he won. Uh, Robert Harding, not Alexander Tamer. Um, But a very nice, very nice middle. And I would say... If you're a really tall thrower, so like six seven plus, or I would maybe even six six plus in terms of height, I would say that having a a more bent arm in the middle and throughout the throw is honestly more advantageous because it shortens you up so you don't go too far across, so you're still able to sprint without going way too far across, and the bent arm allows you to still like be over your right. For shorter throws, I would recommend the arm be longer. Although also, if if your athlete just does this naturally and it doesn't screw up his release or her release, I would. It's not that big of a deal as long as it's not pulling to this side, and your right arm is still long. But if it screws up your consistency or you think having longer, uh, having a longer left arm would be more advantageous um, to bigger throws, then go ahead. I'm not your coach. Um, I would all, but what I would say to point out, look more at the left shoulder than the left arm. As long as, because you'll see like um, Alekna and Riedel and people who throw 70 plus meters that have their arm bent. What they do is they still go around with their left shoulder. Even though their arm is bent, their, their, their shoulder will go around still, their left shoulder. So it does the same effect if their arm was long. And that's why they can still throw far and get a really nice release. So it's not just the bend of the arm. Because if you bend your arm and then you just go like that. And well, I mean, you just like kind of pull off. Like right here. Well, I would say like um, he landed a little early in the middle. So it causes left to get down a little early. This is not the best position. It, it's around close to getting blocked off. If he, if his right foot landed a little more here and his left foot down this sec, down the left sector, he could have finished more down the middle and got a lot more into the disc. Um, and then instead of really reversing a little too early, like it's still. In his hand, and it's he's in the air. While well, ideally, you'd still want to be in the ground, on the ground, still working the discus. 
this wouldn't be that big of a deal if his left leg, if his left foot was still on the ground. Like a Ger Cantor finish or a Daniel Stahl finish. But he does get like a little pulley here. I, he is a little overactive with his left, which, which causes him to delay the right side a little. So his timing's a little off. And he releases it too early and doesn't get a lot into it. But if you still notice, even though he's pulling, he still goes around and still holds this. Even though he's in the air, he's still holding a block. And I can tell that he blocked because his left foot lands there and his right foot lands right there. So, he didn't do a really good block, necessarily, but it was close. Close. You you won't get a really good block when you land like that in the front. But just a really nice, just solid technique. What I really love is the rhythm of his throw and the acceleration that he gets. He goes slow, fast. Boom. And it's really beautiful. But yep, just um, a couple interesting things. I don't think he actually medaled in international competition. He was quickly overshadowed by Ger Cantor. Um, a year later. <laughs> um, but... He used to be the Estonian record holder. He threw 70 meters in his career... Multiple time Olympian, went to world champs a couple times. Um, re really nice, solid technique. Just a couple um, things to point out to summarize that he kind of pulls at the finish due to what he, the, the inconsistencies, I would say, out of the back. Like, if he turned his foot all the way. He would land a little more to the middle. So he w would land a little deeper with his left. And so he could finish more down the middle and get his forces lined up better so he could throw further. But still, really nice solid throw. This isn't his best like technical throw. Obviously, it didn't go that, that, that far. But yep, I hope you liked it. And see y'all later.